Okay, what's happening is since November 7th, 2010, we've been locked out by U.S. Steel. So we did everything in our power not to be locked out. In November 2007, U.S. Steel bought us, and they said that they could live with the contract that they bought. They had no problem with their pensions, no problem with their contract. And in fact, uh, when we, uh, you know, start to question that, they actually, the chief financial officer, Gretchen Haggerty, wrote in the Hamilton Spectator, the newspaper here, that U.S. Steel uh, uh, basically said that Hamilton should feel safe their pensioners with U.S. Steel. So we have 9,000 pensioners in the Hamilton community, and what U.S. Steel is basically dictating to us is saying that their pension should no longer be indexed, and they want to put new people hiring at U.S. Steel into the Fine Contribution Savings Plan instead of the Fine Benefit Plan. So we don't agree with that. Basically, U.S. Steel has locked us out for those two reasons. They said they will not negotiate to give up on those two reasons, two, two issues, and then they'll talk about the rest of the things and they'll negotiate the other, what else we're going to give up. So they're basically come up here. They, they, they stop production in Canada, they're supplying the Canadian market from the states, and they're basically uh, controlling everything from the states as a huge monopoly until we're basically starving us, we're trying to starve us out. Uh, so right today, what we've been trying to do is stop uh, ships of, of, of coke leaving the Hamilton plant because we believe that they should make steel here in in Hamilton and not in supply the market for the states up in Canada. And we have huge community support behind us. Up today in the bridge, there hasn't been one negative comment. Almost everybody that crosses the bridge on in vehicles honks their horn. People that are riding the bikes through, they're, they're saying keep up the good work. We've got the mayor of Hamilton behind us in the struggle. They've moved motion supporting us and telling us still to get that, uh, get back and start start making steel in Hamilton again. Also, uh, the federal government has charged U.S. Steel under what's called the Canada Investment Canada Act, uh, and they, they put charges against them for not living up to their commitments when they bought U.S. Steel. So that's the situation here. Uh, we're trying to do whatever we can uh, to put pressure on U.S. Steel to live up to their commitments when they purchased this in 2007. This particular ship, we, we've only held it up basically uh, a couple of hours. Uh, previously, we held the ships up for about six or seven hours, uh, but now today they've kind of come up with a new game plan uh, saying that they, uh, a ship from Arsenal Mattel to Fasco wants to leave, and so once they get the bridge up, they'll bring out all the ships. Uh, so that's kind of a new strategy that, that uh, they've tried. So we've been working real hard to keep community support on our side. So what we're doing is just. So uh, today we've decided to, to obviously let the fast ship people think about what's going on.